Hi there, good morning. You find me on bridge number 15 that goes over the Rochdale Canal near Hebden Bridge. You can see Mayroid Lock in the distance there. Um, I'm not doing the canal one, it's just a little bit quieter than being up by the main road, the A646, which is just up there. Uh, it is morning traffic, so everybody's off to uh, work, maybe, or you know, anywhere to the cafe. Uh, yeah. The, what I'm covering today is the missing streets and roads uh, in Hebden Bridge. Uh, we're going to cover from round about the 18th century all the way through to the 1960s when places were demolished. Uh, yeah, anyway, come on, let's get on with the video. Right, here I am on the A646, known as the Turnpike Road from Mytham Road to Hebden Bridge. In the distance is Fallingroyd Bridge, which goes over the Rochdale Canal. And in that direction is Hebden Bridge. Now, the original Turnpike Road uh, in the 18th century and before was actually higher up the hill. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get a good pick of it. I'm going to go across the road to find out. Now up there, I don't know whether you can see that wall, just there, that wall, that marks the edge of the Turnpike Road, running along that way towards Hebden Bridge. Sorry if I keep starting and stopping this video, um, it's a bit noisy, it's early morning, lots and lots of traffic going past. Okay, so that's up there. And that line, you can see it kind of dropping that direction, was the original Turnpike Road, you know, pre uh, the end of the 18th century. Ran from Fallingroyd Bridge, came along over there. In the distance, there is Mayroid House. You might just be able to see part of it. Ran across the front of Mayroid House and then ran down the drive for Mayroid House onto. The current A646. So the uh, old route came across the top of there in front of Mayroid House, which you can kind of just see. I won't go up there because it's private. There. It used to be known as the Tithe Barn and I think the Thirsty Turtle as well. So it went across the front of there. You can see where it probably came out just to the end of that hedge there. Run along, and then, like I say, it came down at the uh, drive of Mayroid House. And just here, there is another thing to look at. We we'll just go through here. There's a little gap. So the road would have just been up there. The pack, uh, pack house. No, the uh, turnpike. Oh, squirrel. And just here, presumably, a little stream runs down here. And this is probably where it went across the top of this. And along there, in front of the house, there's a house up there, and through there. I think actually that's Mayroid House there, but that was, let's say, Thirsty Turtle and uh, Tithe Barn. So it went across there, try and rejoin it in a second. We're now near to uh, Station Road End at Hebden Bridge. You just see it in the distance there. McPeel is to the right. And this is the drive to Mayroid House. And this is also where the turnpike came down and met the current road. Yeah, it came down from there 
down here, along there, and then on into the distance. Now, the route did not go down the hill that is currently there, down New Road into Hebden Bridge. As the name suggests, that was a new road. It went along Commercial Street, which is to the right at the far end, and then along towards the White Lion, and turned left at the White Lion, went along to the old bridge at Hebden, and turned right over the bridge. Then it turned left, immediate left, along what is now Old Gate, but at that time was at the actual main road, and went towards the back of Central Street School, and along through onto uh, Mytham, over Mytham Bridge, and on towards Todmorden. We're now at the junction of Burnley Road, the A646 and as you can see up there, New Road which runs down into the middle of Ebden Bridge and the traffic light and this is Commercial Street or it isn't or wasn't on the 1894 map, the Ordnance Survey map this is noted as Doctor Hill and the building up there to the left, with two windows on the three windows on the end, I've just noticed. I'm pretty sure was the doctor's surgery. I don't know when it lost the name Doctor Hill, but it did sometime. And uh, yeah, so this was known as Doctor Hill. Sorry, no old photographs, etc. But uh, yeah, there you go. Onward. To the next bit. Which... Right now I'm looking down Birchcliff Road, back onto Commercial Street. I've got an old photo that I can overlay on you. You can see the houses at the bottom. Now, that building down there with the grey windows is actually what was one of the tall houses in the town. Is that building there? and is the only surviving tall house. Sorry about the blood, didn't uh, get back on. This is Albert Street, which runs down back onto the A646. But, on the 1894 map, it's not down as Albert Street, but it's called Victoria Street. Somewhere on one of the buildings here, there is a sign to prove that. Just up there, by the lights and the swinging sign, but whether you can see it, get onto it, there we go, Victoria Street. Maybe an idea to get it to come back to that, because you know, Victoria Street, 
and down there running that way, Albert Street. But yeah, getting back to Victorian and all, but up to the next one, which is just in that gap there. As you can see, this is now a car park, but originally there were old tenement style houses on here and it was called Garden Street. It's still Garden Street, but technically it's Garden Street Car Park. I've got uh, a couple of old photos to show of this. I'm going to go to the other end because one of them is taken from the other end. I'll catch you up over there. Now at the opposite end of the car park by Croft Mill Apartments turn round you probably get an idea of the old photo yeah you can see where they've supported commercial street which we were just on above up there so the old garden street used to run along there I'll try and get the photo in the right position but difficult because I think it was taken from up somewhere up on what was then Croft Mill at the time these now come on didn't look at me paperwork bear with these were de demolished as was commercial street in 1965 so it's wobbling about I'm trying to read and film at the same time naughty boy I'm coming back out of garden street now and just in front there is where the uh, white horse in used to stand. Put a, put a photograph up of that. As you can see now, it is the weekly market that's on, so it's going to be a bit busy for filming, but hey ho, let's go on. We're going across there. Down over there where the Christmas tree is, is what is now called St George's Square. Just quickly nipped back the next day to film this place. This was a place called Hollins Place. Quite a few houses here. The uh, road was straightened. I think it was back in the 60s when they demolished this. Not sure. But if you look, this, the cobbled lane, is the original road. So it was headed straight for the... Um, White Lion, sorry. Just out of breath. Yeah, to straight for the white line, this would be the road you would have taken. Sorry, I haven't even got my gimbal. I just hope this works. So it headed there. There's the white line in front. We would be going past buildings on the right here. And then, Keithley Road went up that way. So you turn to the right here to go up Keithley Road. But to keep on the turnpike, you would turn left and go down to Hebden Bridge, the old bridge down that way past the shoulder of Mutton. Got to cross and go up here. I'm going to show you what Hollins Place looked like from on Keithley Road. We'll go up here, put an old picture up. I do hope the uh, mic is picking up my voice okay. I haven't brought my external mic with me. So there, I put an old picture up. The white lion is to our right, Birchcliff Road is to the left.
approaching St George's Square. Christmas tree looks rather nice. Just in front of us is the shoulder of mutton. Now, back on the 1894 map again, was this actually was shown as Lee's Yard, but where the car park is now and the market is what is now called Lee's Yard, obviously incorrectly. So this was Lee's Yard, we got a photograph of a couple of gentlemen at a water tap. And if we look here, we might be able to overlay it onto this. They stood straight in front of the shoulder of mutton. And here, to the right, you can just see the end of a building. So there was a building ran across this part of the square, making it quite a lot smaller. So it was between both the shoulder of mutton and bridge mill there. And ran from there, I'll show you it on the map, across to there somewhere. So yeah, this didn't used to be called St George's Square, it was called Lee's Yard. I'm now on Valley Road, back down there is the Town Hall, that's the Doctors there to the left. I'm going to cut between Overgate Hospice and Boots. So our next place, Ormissing Street, is there, or was there rather. Now by Hebden Water, near to the, uh, the weir, the bridge mill. And from here, or maybe a little bit further back that way, all the way along to what is now classed as the Old Bridge, was a street called Blackwater Street. It was a lot lower than we are right now. It was uh, you know, just about a couple of feet above the level of the water just down there. And it followed just about this line that we're walking at this very moment but you can hear me over the top of the weir and, uh, yeah, it was uh, a lot lower than this and went straight through to the old bridge this was before St George's Bridge which you can see in front was built so down by the side of the river there it was Sure, I'll put a few pictures on, especially from the other side of St George's Bridge. So it was down there somewhere. There is some old stonework at the bottom of this wall could very well be part of it. I think it stuck out into the river a little bit further than this though. You'll be able to see one of the ones I've taken from uh, that is taken from the other side of the old bridge. Well by the way um, I'm calling it what was called the old bridge but I think the original pack horse bridge came across here. Wooden piles were found as I've said in one of the old videos wooden piles were found underneath where that little building is just there that's an Archimedes screw creating electricity for inside Innovation Cafe and in the shop as well, Innovation Shop now looking towards the uh, old bridge built 1510 I think I'm right there and Blackwater Street ran along here and underneath this platform you can see there's some steps come up nobody knows what they're for but it was down lower down was Blackwater Street we're gonna go to the old bridge now 
now going up onto the old bridge video that's coming next is sorry the next part of the video is going to be over there but still to finish this one which is Blackwater Street Blackwater Street ran from here at the bottom of the old bridge there ran along there before these buildings even existed through to there underneath where St George's Bridge is to the left you see the little platform I was talking about earlier it was somewhere over there I'm going to go on to West End Bridge in a second to show you a, a photograph from before I'll just try and get into the same position as some of the old photographs from here somewhere about here I think yeah, now Go on to West End Bridge, which is over there. We're now at the end of the old bridge, the western end of the old bridge, and the wall that you can see in front was where there used to be housing. This is called Buttress Brink. That's the buttress to the right, the cobbled road going up. This was like a, an absolute rabbit warren. You'll see by the old pictures I'm going to put on how bad it was. It was condemned. It was. Uh, pulled down in the mid 1960s was unfit for living very few of the houses if any had any uh, hot water they, they described as having one cold tap over a stone sink so you can understand how pretty damn dire they actually were so they're all in there and there's another set of houses just where the Audi is as well so it was quite, there was a gap here and one there with buildings running in between there. One was a shop, I've got a picture of that as well. I'm going to go back up, up here to the side of what used to be the hole in the wall, now Hebel House, to get this view. Somewhere around here, go back a bit further I think. Sorry if he's jumping. Just here, yeah, that looks pretty much like the view. And I think this might be another view that I've got, or close. Wish I'd brought some copies of the pictures with me, but pretty difficult to do. Yeah, like I said, were demolished in the 60s. So the branch, this is the calder, I'm on top, uh, above the calder at the moment and the branch that you can see to the left is hebbed in water so the wall there kind of marks where the original turnpike road would have come along it will come along here, try not to film there along here and on towards Hebel end there now the at some time in the past the river has actually been straightened here somewhere it did bend off to the right and if we look over there the turnpike road then took a left I don't know whether we can see but bridge lanes 
runs off up there and over and on towards Mytham. We're going to both Bridge Lanes and Mytham. Bridge Lanes is where the bridge, or the lane, sorry, was, and also High Street. That's the next part of our visit. Now walking on to Market Street, which was a much later turnpike road in the 1800s. So it then came along here, along there, and then up the lanes, which has later become bridge lanes as we know it now. Hebble End Bridge is just there. That's the canal bridge higher up, but there's a Hebble End Bridge here. So the roadway came across here behind the church and then bed to the right and up the lanes which is what the A646 now utilises so it has a much harsher bend we are now approaching our next visit which is Bridge Lanes Here we are on Bridge Lanes, part of the very busy A646. Got some good old photos to put on from here. And we're also going to go and see where that grey and black car are just going past. There were houses all the way up that side as well. Those were demolished in the 1960s and were known as the High Street. Now looking across bridge lanes to Cuckoo Steps, you can see it says Cuckoo Steps Mill on the building. I'm going to walk up there to buildings that were called High Street. I'm going to put a picture up shortly what it was like at this end of High Street. turn here this is the main was the main part of High Street so it ran on there as you can see and then along here this has now been given the name of Stony Lane There's another picture later to show you just at the end of this part We're just approaching Hepton Stall Road and we're going to drop down into Mizen. Which is down that way. Catch you for the last bit. King Street at Mizen. We're now dropping down into Mizen and this was also 
the original turnpike which went on over Mythen Bridge which you can just see the white van has just crossed it was a lot narrower back then of course and then went on along the valley that valley there through to Todmorden We now stood on Mythen Bridge. That's St James's Church in the distance. And here stood Mythen Mill. Try and put a picture up. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Hebton Stall is up at the top of the hill there. And just peeking through the trees is the top of a chimney. Whether I can actually zoom in on it, let's have a look. The Beck River that flows underneath Mythen Bridge is called Colden Water. Look at the car. Got to look at the other side. There you go. Oh, look at that. Heron. The heron on the bank. Like I say, that's cold and water that the heron's fishing on. Don't forget to zoom out. And further up there, there were more mills. That is going to be a future video. The mills of Colden Valley. Going on here now. Further on here. Is where they used to be. A row of houses. There are still some left actually. There a row of houses called King Street, demolished I think in the 1960s. You need a good butter. There's a butty van called PK's just here. Very good, very good butties from there. Spam and egg especially. But anyway, just here. Longstaff Court, named after Alice Longstaff, who quite a few of the pictures that I'm putting up came from originally. And this was the site of Bankfoot Garage. My family bought quite a few cars from here. It's the turning circle for people wanting to go up to Hepton Stall. Further on is the Stubbing Wharf pub. Just here on the right was where the missing buildings of King Street were. I'm going to go across, put a photo that kind of around this area, and one at the other side too. I'll overlay the old photos. Like I say, a lot of these are from the Alice Longstaff collection and other collections as well. And that's the Calder. Looking back to Hall, towards Hebden Bridge now. Another photo to overlay, the old photo of King Street.
Well, thank you for watching. We started off by the canal. We're finishing off by the canal, by the Stubbing Wharf pub. Just walking through. I don't know which bridge number this one is, but I uh, hope you've. Uh, sorry about the voice. I'm feeling very tired now. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would do. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, please. If you really like the video. Give me uh, a subscribe, that'd be great. It doesn't cost you anything, it would be good for my channel. So yeah, thank you for watching once again. We're at uh, Bridge 19. Thank you. Bye. Didn't look at the uh, camera again, did I? Do.